If you're listening to this, you obviously like podcasts, and you probably like music too. On Spotify, you can listen to all that in one place for free, and you don't need a premium account. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now. On Spotify, you can follow your favorite podcast so you never miss an episode. Download episodes to listen offline, wherever you are. Easily share what you're listening to with your friends via Spotify's integrations with social platforms like Instagram. Just search for the e-commerce minute on the Spotify app or browse podcasts in your library tab. And follow us so you never miss an episode of the e-commerce minute. Spotify is the world's leading music streaming service. And now it's your go-to for podcasts. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the e-commerce minute is brought to you by send pro online from Pitney Bowes with send pro online from Pitney Bowes. It's just click send and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30 day trial to get started and a free 10 pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with Send Pro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 520. In today's episode, 7-Eleven adds a location-based delivery option. Do you ever find yourself in a public place like a park, ravenously craving a 7-Eleven slushy, or one of those tasty roller dogs with chili? Maybe you're just stuck somewhere without a phone charger. Well, even if you can't relate to any of these, buckle up because 7-Eleven has officially introduced location-based delivery. The new service called 7Now reaches more than 2,000 7-Eleven hotspots, including New York Central Park and Venice Beach in Los Angeles. To use the service, customers need to download the 7-Eleven 7Now app and select Show 7Now Pins to find a hotspot close by. Customers can order things like the infamous slushy, a magazine, or some taquitos, and pretty much anything in between, so as long as the delivery person can carry it. Your carrier will pick up the order from the nearest participating store and deliver it within 30 minutes, and there is no minimum to make a purchase. The same flat fee of $3.99 applies to both home and public space delivery services, and for orders under $15, customers pay an extra $1.99. Boy, that is an expensive hot dog. 7-Eleven's Executive Vice President, Gurmeet Singh, says that they expect to have around 200,000 hotspots, but haven't specified when the target will be reached. The move clearly comes in an effort to shift 7-Eleven into having an online presence like many of its competitors, making it the ultimate inconvenience. In 2018, they rolled in an app-based delivery service to shoppers' homes in 28 major metro markets. While launching that service, Singh says customers ask to have items directly delivered to public spaces like parks or seeking delivery when they're stuck at the beach and need a water or a phone charger, thus sparking the idea of location-based delivery. For now, we'll keep an eye out for people drinking big gulps in the park, and we'll see if this boosts 7-Eleven as a key player in the convenience delivery world. Seven now. <laughs> I haven't had a slushy since I was probably 12 years old, but I see people walking down the street with them. I'm a slush puppy girl. Slush <laughs> just, they taste different than like 7 They're like more refreshing. 7-Eleven makes I'm, me. Back up. Or, what is a slush puppy? Oh, slush puppy. They're like iconic. They're like a huge like concession stand type of slushy. Oh, uh, okay. okay. There's like a blue one and a red one. And they're like a little more like. So is that, are they official flavors? Like, could I have blue and can I have red? <laughs> well, that's what people usually said. But I think like this, the non-street name for them is like cherry and like blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, right. And you always say raspberry in air quotes, because I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of uh, real raspberry juice in all of those. Oh, yeah. How can you even like define like what raspberry is at this point? Like, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah, I don't think kids today would just <laughs> raspberry if you stuck it in their mouth. But anyway, for the seven now, I'm looking at the actual website. There is a desktop version of this because I didn't feel like downloading the app. And one interesting thing was you can look at categories. You can pretty much order anything that 7-Eleven has here. But one interesting category they have is called fun and sun. So this would be great for, as stated in the story, for someone who is stuck on the beach. And it has the, the top line in the category shows a bunch of sunscreen and then a lot of Cheetos and Techies and Bugles and <laughs> beer, a lot of beer. Battery. Here's my issue. My issue with this is that I don't see White Claw. <laughs> Who's 
not ordering White Claw having fun in the sun? You're low and you're on the claw. Yeah, uh, there's a cooler, there's an inflatable drink holder, and there's even a unicorn adult floaty. Interesting enough, I don't know if you noticed this, Brittany, while you were putting the story together, there is no tobacco offered. It is, I think it's a based on location. So if we go back to the category page, it says looking for tobacco, download our app to see availability in your area. They'll deliver you a six pack of beer and a stinking pizza, but you can't get a Siggy or a Jewel pod. How about that? Wow. I guess. Okay. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a pro smoking guy. I just don't think those Jewel pods are the devil, but um, some of the laws are a little crazy, but I guess it's to keep the Siggies out of the hands of the kids. So, Hey, whatever. But yeah, you can get booze. Uh, initially, their nationwide rollout to sell booze, because uh, I don't think a lot of 7-Eleven sold booze. And again, we're speaking for people from Pennsylvania who just like literally last year were able to buy beer on Sundays <laughs> in a supermarket. So we're like way behind the curve. This is all, kind <laughs> this of, this is is all like mind-blowing stuff for us. So the 7Now app is available in the Google Play and the Apple Store. Interesting enough, we did a story... And if you recall, back in episode 464, we talked about the 7-Eleven Lab Store. Uh, so what they're doing is they're trying to, I think 7-Eleven is trying to break out of that, like, I think brands get stale. And I, I, I when I think of a stale brand, I definitely think of 7-Eleven. I don't go to 7-Eleven. We have 7-Eleven, we have a Wawa. And I always just think 7-Eleven is where people go get their Siggies and, and monster drinks. And that's <laughs> a certain kind of person goes there. But they did do this lab store in, I believe it was in Texas, uh, again, if you go back to episode 464 of the podcast, it's a, a experimental store in Dallas, and they had everything from like vegan to keto-friendly items to a gelato bar, kombucha counters, breakfast tacos. So if 7-Eleven's trying to turn the corner, uh, I may give them another try. Yeah, that's a that's a really good idea to have that lab. Well, you know, I think consumer tastes are changing. And um, I, I think if you just keep with your roller dogs and frozen burritos, uh, that's not that's not going to be how you win in convenience anymore. That's very Especially true. delivery, because, you know, you got the you got those millennials, man. They just want to, like, push a button on their phone and have their taquitos delivered to the beach. So I think it's just right. Part. And they're smart not to completely, like, get rid of the taquitos and roller dogs, because that is what some people well, yeah, go there. Well, yeah, the old truckers need to eat something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 2 a.m., like college kids. What listen, else? I'm going to eat a taquito. Listen, I told, I think I said on one of the podcasts, I was one of those guys that was like, you know, after nights of certain fun and frolic, I would be, there was a 7-Eleven right by my apartment, and I would do that frozen, freaking frozen bean burrito. And oh, iconic. At 2.30 a.m., it was like the most delicious thing until I woke up with chest pain. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a heart attack. <laughs> what did I do last night? <laughs> what happened here? What is wrong with me? My poor choices are coming back to haunt me. <laughs> All right, Brittany, why don't you tell us about today's sponsor? Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk and you're back to business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. So save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and print labels and stamps right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access the special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SemPro Online from Pitney Bowes. So this wasn't the first time 7-Eleven has been in the news uh, the last few months. Earlier this month, I read this, I kind of laughed out loud. 900 customers of 7-Eleven Japan lost a collective of 510,000 US dollars after hijacker, after hackers hijacked their seven pay app accounts and made illegal charges in their names. Apparently the hack was caused by a flaw on the app, which the password reset function was in, was poorly designed. <laughs> that's, that's We'll put that in air quotes. It allowed anyone to request a password reset for other people's accounts, but have the password reset link sent to the email address instead of the illegitimate account owner. Listen, people, man, you got to invest in your security. <laughs> is that is, happens. could you imagine just like seeing your card have all these charges for tickets? Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's like my worst nightmare. It's, yeah, same. That happened to me once on Postmates. Like people just kept getting like these Postmates orders on my card and I had to cancel my card. It was a big debacle. 
<laughs> what were they ordering? Could you see? Like McDonald's. Oh, and I was McDonald's. like, I respect you a little bit for this, but like at the same time, like I, it's like expensive. I, I had someone order um, some Panda Express on my, on my uh, debit card once I was on, I was down the shore and it was a Sunday morning and we're having breakfast. And as you do, you go and check your bank account and see what the <laughs> hell you were up to this weekend, making sure that you, know, you didn't do anything weird. And I'm like, Panda Express, $24. I'm like, I haven't been in a Panda Express. The only one and only time I was ever in a Panda Express was the day Prince died because I walked in there and it was on the TV. <laughs> so I called the bank and had you know, like, I, get back. I probably told this story in the podcast before. If not, it's new to you. When, where were you when Prince died? Where were you when Prince died? I was in a Panda Express. All right. You got anything to add to this one? I do not. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.